Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today we're going to be opening up some Ghosts from the Past. And I'm really excited for this because Ghost Rares are actually my favorite rarity in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Even having just about every single Ghost Rare in the entire game in my collection, which is absolutely crazy. I hope I can get a Ghost Rare in this, but who knows? They're kind of hard to pull. They're like one to two in a case, which is a little bit hard to get a hold of. But I'm really excited to see if we can actually pull one because there's some really cool ones like Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, and even being able to pull a new alternative art a firewall dragon and crystal wing which is an amazing reprint for a ghoster i'm really excited for that and i'm really excited to get into this for you guys so don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification come part notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name to your single video getting assigned cards in the mail or even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron along with test hands and let's get straight on into this so we're gonna go ahead and oh that's pretty oh that is pretty okay we're gonna pop it up how it should be like actually displayed let's see okay that that is nice okay so i'm gonna slide this over to the side guys and we're gonna start with box number one and whoever sliced this open right there they got it wasn't me but let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first pack and see if we can actually pull something really really good hopefully we can I'm I'm kind of excited about all the cards in this set. The Starry Night archetype looks really, really good. Um, actually, how do you open this? Goodness, this is weird. This is different. Like, usually with premium gold, they, like, pop open from the front, but you got to pop it open from the side with this. Huh. Does it? Oh, it does. Okay, I'm being silly. That's kind of weird. I didn't even... With the coloring of the box, I couldn't see that, which is kind of weird. Let's just pull them out like this. We're going to pull them out the weird way. There we go. Okay, so we got a Firewall Dragon, a BLS. Oh, BLS was one of them too, yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's see what we can actually get out of some of these packs because this is a really, really awesome set. Let's see what we can do. I think it's the fifth card that's the one that's usually the short print. So we got a copy of Metal Foes Metherium. Let's go ahead and get that to autofocus really quick. We got a Durandal, which is not too bad. Miss Valley Baby Rook. Metal Foes Counter, and oh, we got the Hell Shit All. Oh, that is immediately sleeving. Yes, yes, I need bunches of those, please. That That is awesome. Okay, next pack. Let's see what we can do for the next one. We got a th Time Thief Retrograde. There's actually reprinted of all the Time Thief cards in here that are actually been printed as Ultra Rares, which is really cool. And we even got some new Time Thief cards. So we got a our first Sun uh, Sun uh, Vine or Sun Avalon, Galaxy Eyes Cipher Blade Dragon, Splash Magician, and a Thestalos, the Mega Monarch. That's not too bad. Thestalos is not a bad pull. Thestalos is not the greatest because I don't use him in my Monarch build, but it's not a bad card at all. We got a copy of Metal Foes Silver Rod, a copy of Sunseed Chateau. That's not bad. Oh, we got Dragoonity Draft. That's pretty good. We got a copy of Heretic Seal of Tefnut, or Heretic uh, Dragon of Tefnut, and we got the Armagram. That's pretty cool. The Dragoonity card. That's actually like the boss. That's not one of my sleeves. I didn't mean it's one of my sleeves. I own it, but hey, not what I wanted. Uh, but we got the new Dragoonity card. That's really, really awesome that we actually pulled the Dragoonity card. So let's get into the next box and see what we can actually do without completely cutting ourselves with the safety scissors. <laughs> that would be YouTube worthy. Guy opens up Yu-Gi-Oh cards, ends up mauling hand with safety scissors. <laughs> That'd be so dumb. Okay, I'm just going to do it how I did before and pop them open. You guys are probably cringing at this, but I kind of like to keep the boxes nice. So let's go ahead and see what we can get for the next one. That's nice that I already got the Hell Shit-All. Like, I need at least one of each of the Shit-All cards. And I think there's two. So we got Backup Secretary. We got Metal Foes Gold Driver, which actually looks really good in Ultra, I have to say. We got Time Thief Flyback, the Laval Handmaiden, and... Oh, I thought that was going to be the BLS Link. Oh, it was the Heretic. Okay, I'm going to set this over here. These are, like, the really good ones over here that are sleeved, and this is, like, my interesting pile over here. So... I should probably separate them from the unique ones. We might do that in the next video. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale Tales? Huh. That's kind of weird. What does this do? You can reveal a spellcast in your hand with 1850 attack and a different name than the monsters you currently control. Immediately this card resolves. Normal summon to set it. You only see the effect of this card once per turn. And the first time, each time you would take battle damage from a effect damage. Well, you control a spellcaster monster with 1850 attack. You take no damage. Okay, that's Charmer support. That's what that is. Okay, Starry Knight Blast. That's kind of cool. We got a Starry Knight. 
uh, Heretic uh, Dragon of Atum. We got the Time Thief Redoer, and we got the new Heretic Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. That's nice. That is a nice bull. I like that. It's actually an Omni Negate, which is really nice. What this card does, if you guys are unfamiliar with it, is you can once per turn when an opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card on the field or in the grave, or a banished card, or excuse me, if they target a field on your field, your grave, and your banished cards... You can quick effect detach material from this card, negate the activation, do destroy it. So it's a basically it prevents from targeting, which is kind of nice because it's kind of the counter. It's kind of like the um, it's kind of like the balance card to uh, the Sky Dragon or Sun Dragon of uh, Heliopolis. We got a, a Danger Thunderbird. That's pretty nice as another reprint. We got a Metal Foes Counter. We got a copy of Miracle Synchro Fusion. Medalche Chateau, and a Galaxy Eyes Cypher X Dragon. Yeah, I needed one of those. You guys knew I just proxied, actually, in the profile, I believe, last night. I actually was proxying that because at the time I didn't have the new one, and I wanted to bring it to you guys to do the deck profile of it. And so I just went ahead and proxied it so I could have the card for you guys. But that's actually really nice that I now actually have the card for live duels and stuff for you guys. So let's see what we can get for the next one. That's actually not that bad to pop it open from the side. I wish they would have done that with premium gold because the packs just like slide out like that. Easy peasy. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than that. So, oh, we got two Dark Magician packs in this one. That's kind of neat. That's kind of cool. Yozan Rue. That's kind of weird. I think that's like the first reprint I've ever seen of this card. Like as an ultra rare too. That's really pretty. This was actually in the anime Kaiba called this Yozan Ru the Diamondback Dragon, which was kind of weird because in the flavor text, it's a dragon created from a massive diamond that sparkles with a blinding light, which is kind of neat. It's actually here for uh, Starry Night because it's a level 7 light dragon monster. Cosmojo, that's kind of cool. Uh, Sun Seed Loach, that's pretty cool. And a Galaxy Cypher Blade. And then we got Starry Night Ceremony. That's kind of neat. They're actually getting better with the centering of cards i'm noticing too it's not as bad as toon chaos was toon chaos was terrible on the field or the centering it was just awful let's go ahead and see what we can get we got madalche uh sistart gear town a copy of volflame supremacy and a dragoonity whirlwind like i know when you get a dragoonity card in any of this like it's pretty good usually because i know remus is like the most expensive card in the set right now. I think it's like, right now, last time I checked, it was like 30 bucks per Remus. Uh, then we're getting a Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit. Yeah, this was the one I was talking about. That's the counter to this card. It's like the counterpart that they actually did a different version of where you have Sun Dragon of Heliopolis compared to Sky Dragon of Heliopolis, which is kind of neat. I like that, that they have counterbalances to it. It's really nice. We got a Sunvine Healer. We got a Time Thief Flyback, and we got another Festalos. So that's not bad. Okay, so getting into box number four. Let's see what we can do for box number four. It's not been too bad so far, actually, because we got the, the Hell Shed All was really nice. The I like that. Uh, and the Arma is really nice, because getting one of the Dragoonity Boss monsters is really cool. I think you only played at one. Like, I'm not sure. I haven't built my Dragoonity build yet that I've finalized, but that's kind of nice that... We're getting the new Dragoonity cards. I really wish they would have done it as a structure deck, but I understand that they were trying to sell Ghost from the past, so it's whatever. Okay, so let's see what we can do for the next one. XZ Burst. Uh, if you control a rank 6 or higher XZ monster, destroy all set cards your opponent controls. Um, update Jammer. Yozan Ru again. Cosmo Dark Lady. And a Starry Night Starry Dragon with a little bit of a bent corner. But that's kind of cool. Because that is actually a... Uh, kind of a retrain of Siaru, which is kind of cool. I really like that. I really wish they would do a Serpent Knight Dragon archetype. That'd be really nice. I was actually talking to my patrons about that the other day. Salvage is an ultra rare. That's kind of cool. I like that. Time Thief Bezel Ship. Time Thief Retrograde. Sun Avalon card. And we got the Heretic Seal of Creation. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's a cool card. What does this do? You can target one Dragon XZ monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one Heretic XZ monster with a different original name, but using that monster as a material. So it lets you basically tag into a different one. And you can manage to carve from your grave to target one Heretic monster in your grave and special summon it in defense position. Well, that instantly became a three of. 
because it, you can banish it from the graveyard, especially someone on her attic back, which gives the deck actually a little bit of recovery that it really desperately needed. I think there's only that card and the Exe is new. Okay, ooh, Dragoonity Obliterate. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like the artwork on that. That is nice. I like that. Uh, Dragoonity Obliterate. When an opponent activates a spell or trap while you control Dragoonity Synchro Monster, you negate the activation of a dude, banish that card. Then, if you control a level 10 Dragoonity Monster, you can have one Dragoonity Monster you control gain 100 attack for each face-up card that they currently have banished. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. That's pretty nice. E-Set. E-Set? That's first E-Set uh, Ultra Rare. That's kind of cool. Um, Metal Foes Fusion. Mass Change is an Ultra Rare. And Sun Avalon, the another tree like they just like the tree just gradually gets bigger like i know that that's kind of like dumb to say because that's what trees do but that's what these do they the tree just gets bigger looking this one's actually a little bit loose it's kind of weird but whatever okay so last box let's see if we can get in our last box because this is going to be interesting hopefully we can get something good i mean we haven't gotten anything bad like the dragoonity boss is really nice to pull the dragoonity boss is nice pulling the um pulling the starry night dragon is pretty good i think that's a short print i'm not quite sure let's see that pack feels loose that's interesting i remember there used to be a thing if there was more air in the pack than he was a better card salaman great falco metal foes fusion dragoonity knight draco aquist uh petra and a starry night flamel flamel that's kind of cool that's the first one of those we pulled. I haven't pulled any of the Starry Night like main deck monsters outside of the Dragon, which is kind of neat. I guess it's kind of short printed. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just not pulling them. I don't know. Supremacy. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. I'm going to actually sleeve that because that's the first one we've seen. That's kind of neat. What is this one? Astel? Huh. Okay. Sylvan, uh, Sylvan Maiden. Uh, Tackle Crusader. And a Orchestrated Return. Okay, and then for the last pack, last pack, come on, can we get something really crazy? Last pack of this box. We got more goes from the past coming, so be on the lookout for those videos, guys. We have, I think I've got like four more boxes, and then I got four, which me and Savannah are going to be doing pack battles, I believe, but be on the lookout for those videos as well. So we got Buster Dragon, Miss Valley Baby Rook, Time, or uh, I thought that was a Time Thief card, what the heck, uh, the Monarchs Erupt. Sun Valley, and, oh, I thought that was going to be Crystal Wing. Oh, I thought that was Crystal Wing. <laughs> oh, it's a Shooting Star Dragon TGEX, which is not that bad. That's actually really cool. Uh, the, the TGs are really cool. I'm really excited to actually see what I can do with a pure TG build, a little bit more pure with P TG, because this is actually a card that I've been anticipating coming out for a while. And actually, really quick shout-outs to Chibi Gohan. He's actually been waiting for this one for a long time, which is one of my patrons. So I really am excited for you to get this card finally. So our pulls weren't bad. I actually think we did pretty good. We got the Hell Shit All, which is the card that I really wanted because even if I can just get one, I can st like one of each, like Genius and Hell Shit All, I can start like really popping off with the profiles for you guys with Shit Alls. But we got one of those. We got the Starry Night, or we got one of the uh, Shooting Star Dragon. We got uh, Starry Night Alstel, uh, Flamel Dragoonity Obliterate. The Heretic Seal of Creation, Starry Night, Starry Dragon. I hate that name. I hate that name. Starry Night, Starry Dragon. That's kind of weird. Dragoonity Night Whirlwind, Starry Night Ceremony, uh, Heretic Sky Dragon, EX Dragon, and Dragoonity Armagram. Armagram is awesome because that's actually was the cover card of the structure deck for Dragoonity in the OCG. So I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We got some really, really good pulls from this. If you guys have not picked up Ghost from the Past, you definitely should pick up some Ghost from the Past because the whole set is ultra rare. Like, that's awesome. That is really cool that the entire set is ultra rare and you just get some really good stuff. Like, if you don't have the uh like if you don't have some like staple cards this is really a good set for you to pick up especially for trade bait and stuff like it's going to be a set that's going to hold its value i think for a little bit at least um and then some of the cards will get a little bit cheaper so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on there so you can come part of notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys